Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on function, domain, range, and inverse functions. This is part one of three. We're discussing why it matters in the first place. The best way to describe why it matters, I find over the years, is always give students a big picture. Okay, so what I draw over here is a big triangle. Okay, it's going to separate into three chunks. This is I'm drawing how math is put together for from K to 12th grade or all the way to calculus maybe even. The way it's set up, at the very beginning, you start on arithmetics. Arithmetics. Okay, so here is where we're doing adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. We do the groundwork. Okay, this is the arithmetics. It goes for about from K to maybe fourth grade. And from the onward, we have a couple years of pre-algebra. This is where we're dealing with some word problems. Maybe some percentage, maybe some ratios. And then we have this weird thing looking like a solving equations. Okay, so up to our ninth grade or so, we're doing a lot of groundwork, building up the foundation. Next comes this chunk that's called a transitional material. This is where the function, or the concept of function, domain, range, and inverse function is introduced. The fact that the function is a transitional material signals that you are entering this, what we call algebra 1, algebra 2. Okay, let's put it algebra 1, algebra 2 and possibly trig. I'll put a trig over here. Trig stands for trigonometry. Before we can get onto algebra 1, algebra 2, and trig, we need this concept called a function. Okay, so algebra 1, algebra 2, and trig is all about functions. How do we graph it? For example, how do we graph a line? How do we graph a parabola? How do we Okay. How do we graph a parabola? How do we graph a sine function and a cosine function down the road and maybe a trig function, a tangent or cosecant, all sorts of things. But the basic foundation is this one concept called a function. A function has three parts. It has domain, it has range, and it has what this thing called a mapping. Okay. Mapping is really just a fancy way to see rules. How, how do we put certain numbers in the domain, what rules do we follow so that we have a whole bunch of number that's mapped into the range. Okay, so if this has been x squared, for example, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, over on this side on the range where I map them, 1 gets to be 1, 2 gets to be 4, 3 gets to be 9, 4 gets to be 16, and so forth, so on and so forth. This is just a one example of a function. Okay, there's a gazillion other functions out there, but the concept of function is introduced at this transition stage. Okay, after you get the basic uh, trig, algebra one, algebra two, only when you get that you can get to move into calculus. Okay, calculus is where any any study field that involves the engineering. Okay, any medical degree needs calculus to get into the medical, any vet schools require you to do that, any pure science or physicists, physics, chemistry, so on and so forth. So it does open quite a bit doors. Now the purpose of this video clip is really to show you why function, domain, range, and inverse function matters. It matters because it's a gate material. Gate in that is a transition material. Moves you away from the fundamental concepts that's dealing with arithmetic and word problems into actually the algebra arena. And the transition concept is function. So pay attention when teachers start talking about it. All right, well, I hope this has helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. As always, I love to hear about your math questions. Till next time, have a confident day.